happy Saturday, guys, and thank you again for coming back. You can hear my voice is a little bit croaky. I've had a rough week, mm. but you know what? I've made it. Yeah, we all made it. Yeah, we made it here to see you, beautiful people. Well, to for you, beautiful people, to hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> Listen I to the hater. That. I rolled Listen my to eyes. the hater. <laughs> I rolled my eyes for anybody else that rolled their eyes. Don't worry. Listen to the hater. Do you know what, guys? Yeah, I'm gonna love myself. Yeah. Oh That's God. That's what it is. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes you've got to love on yourself. If you don't love yourself, who will? Somebody. Jesus. Anyway, Jesus, of course. You always gonna be loving me. <laughs> I want it, guys. So welcome once again to Coffee Morning Laughter. It's your girl Shields and. Michelle, hey. I nearly forgot her name there, but never mind. <laughs> Too early. Um, you had a busy week as well, Shell, but I'm um, yeah. glad you made it. The kids are okay. Um, this week's been weird. I'm just going to talk about the weather. I'm going to talk about a random oh. thing. That The weather's been really strange. And many of you not, might not believe what I'm about to say to you here, but it's being controlled by somebody. <laughs> Don't say Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, because no, 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 because Jesus can't be this mean. Yeah, I, I can't even say. But there's a man out there, or a woman, yeah, or she, or a they. Is that correct? Yeah, someone. <laughs> so, because because obviously I'm trying to use the new setup of. Shilla. Yeah, she, <laughs> they, we are. There is someone. There is someone. Yeah. So there is somebody out there, he, she, they. Oh God. You know what I mean? Um, we had a big training about that, so I'm trying to implement it into day-to-day -day living. <laughs> hey, come now. So basically, they're controlling the weather, yeah? And every time somebody is about to book something, they oh. just say, up the ante. Sit down. More rain, more <laughs> rain, yeah, because what did you people do to the weatherman? Oh, woman. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, she, they. Yeah. Because <laughs> they, he, she, they don't want us to succeed this summer. So, <laughs> where is the sun? It's, come on, guys. Yeah. It's coming. I've heard it's coming very soon, to be fair. Like, literally. I'm one of the people that like to check the weather, like, every day. Oh. I've checked, like, 10 days in advance or two weeks in advance. So, actually. And it's yeah. been saying it's training. Pardon? It's been saying it's going to rain, so today might rain. Yeah, it might, but it's a low chance. But from like tomorrow, it's meant to be like really, really nice. Like where I am, like 20 degrees. All right, we'll wait and see anyway. Yeah. I've got my outfits ready. Let me know, listeners, if you've got your outfits ready. Or is it the winter jacket that's still sticking around? Take it out, but just take an umbrella as well. Technically, <laughs> you should really carry your jacket, but since you want to be doing weather shows, isn't it? Do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, do what you want to do. But here we are. This week, we've got an interesting topic for you. Um, I don't know if me and Michelle are going to clash on this, yeah? Funny enough, I don't think we've clashed for a long time, yeah? No. So it might be... Yeah, we used to clash a lot in the beginning, yeah? But now we've learned to kind of like manage ourselves and be friendly. No. Yeah? Reined it in just a very little bit, which is all I need from you. Oh, you reined it in. I've reined it in. Just a little bit, a little bit, not too Try. much. I, one day I want someone to come out with me and Michelle to dinner. One of our listeners to come out <laughs> with me and Michelle to dinner. You would want to leave because we don't agree on anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so give us this little topic for this week, yeah. Right. So it's something again I've come across on our beloved socials but it was a quote which basically said um priorities your purpose must come before your relationship and it's a statement but i think today we want to look at it as a question so do you think that your purpose must come or you must know your purpose before you enter into a meaningful relationship okay so what was the quotation itself the statement itself rather that was it. <laughs> well, your purpose must come before your relationship. Yeah, so it was said as a statement. like. Okay, so it's a statement, to. not a question. Yeah. But I'm so posing it as a question because yeah. I'm not sure. You're posing it as a question. Yeah. yeah. Right, to the listeners, yeah? yeah. Listeners, 
does your purpose come before your relationship? Do you or think it do? do you need the purpose before you can get into your to a relationship? Yeah. A purpose for your life. Well, yeah. That's what like if it, your it, purpose is to be in a relationship? Oh God, Sheila. <laughs> I'm just saying, Michelle, the topic is done. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Great listeners. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for laughing with us and enjoy your coffees. Yeah, it's all over. Oh, they think it's over. It is now. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so no, because show I'm being real. Yeah, like there are some males and some females. Yeah, that right now their focus is to be in a relationship. That's their purpose. Okay. But then, do you think for those people, they've yeah. already achieved what they set out in in other areas of their life? They're tired of being single. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're tired. Yeah, they are tired. Yeah. So they've said, "Listen, I was all about making this money. I was all about becoming a um, psychologist, a scientist." A blah 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 the best the next the next this the next that but now look i'm happy with getting this paycheck even if they put me on the dole tomorrow now my purpose is to be in a relationship yeah i must become a serial data because <laughs> by 2022 yeah i need to marry <laughs> at these who, whose behalf are you speaking on like is this like uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying yeah because you're saying to me because that could be somebody's purpose though to be in a relationship I think at some point in our lives obviously that's something that most people um, strive yeah. towards yeah a relationship yeah. but I think in terms of looking at this statement yeah I, I Obviously, it can't marry. That that it can't be with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So you you want you want to be, you want me to be more open minded. Yeah, more open minded. So the purpose, looking at the purpose, as not being for someone to be in a relationship. That's not their purpose, but say their purpose in life. Okay. So basically, I'll I'll start again. Yeah. Purpose. Um, does your purpose come before your relationship or should your purpose come before your relationship? Yeah. In all honesty, I think when I hear this statement, I believe it's saying you should know yourself mm. before you want to be in a relationship of knowing somebody else. Okay. So do you think that that should be the case? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. It comes to point. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. I'm really confident in what I'm talking about, guys. And that's yeah. right. <laughs> I'm going on I'm going on like I went to the school of relationships. School yeah. of life. <laughs> I'm in there. I'm in there. Yeah. I haven't graduated yet. School of life. Yeah. <laughs> but here's what my understanding is, yeah. There's uh, different ages. There's different life stages, right? Mm-hmm. Um I haven't written this out anywhere to actually have it published or for it to be tested. So do yeah? we need to copyright this now? We're doing it to copyright this right now, yeah. But hear what I'm saying and pick sense from my no sense, yeah. Listeners, walk with me and follow me. Michelle, you might have to remind me a little bit about the Eric Erickson stages, life stages, yeah. Okay. Of development. Yeah. So the different life stages of development um, really re- have stages where you're supposed to do certain things at a certain time right so yeah. that when you go to each life stage you're not reliving so basically when you're 40 you're not living as if you're a 20 year old yeah okay. so if you was now between for example just to make it a basic understanding if we're normally in the uk those of us who are in the uk we normally do maybe our first old girls holidays independent of our parents and our family members and we normally do those holidays between the ages of 18 to 25 yeah or 24 yeah so you do that you go with your friends whether you choose Magaluf whether you choose Vegas whether you choose Marbella whether you choose Portugal my first all girls holidays was in Portugal yeah or about 20 21 yeah 
that, that, that was our age. Now, we did it you all... Did Miami all... before then, sorry. No, 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 no. I had gone to Mosse. I, I, oh. I had friends with I met you, so... Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I came into your life and I changed it. <laughs> anyway, let me carry on on my journey. Now who dis- who's distracting who? But oh, basically, so uh, we went to Miami at 23, babes. 22 22 actually 22 we went to Miami we went to Miami we went to Miami at 22 because remember we ended up no we went to Miami in our final year of uni whatever that was because we ended up coming back from the airport and literally that the next the next the next day we were supposed to be at at uni <laughs> <laughs> and we were still <laughs> yeah no we came home like on a Saturday and we were at uni on Monday Something. student loan money spent well that is, yeah. that is that was yeah student loan money spent well boy and a bit of mummy roses but <laughs> student <laughs> yeah <laughs> but listen so basically you're in life stages yeah mm. and you're supposed to do certain things at particular life stages yeah to allow you not to revert back to that place and to be on track according to Eric Erickson's Eric Erickson. yeah. um, theory of development or growth or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Guys, my knowledge is a little bit rusty here, so go easy with me, those who are scholars in these areas, yeah? Go easy with me. So, so right, I've got it up. You've got it up? Yeah. Go on, you explain it then. So the stages of psychosocial development. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's about infancy, infancy, trust, yeah. being, trust, early childhood, preschool, school age, adolescent, young adulthood, middle mm. adulthood, and then maturity is kind of okay. where it ends. Where it ends, yeah. So maturity will be, I guess for some of our listeners right now, where our parents are. Anyone who's yeah. my... Yeah? You said like you 60 would, plus. 60 yeah, plus. 60 plus, yeah. So you would be looking at that, basically. So we are now, if you're my age, where are we, Michelle? So we are in the um, intimacy versus isolation age, which is like the um, the um, early no, the late adulthood. Sorry, middle middle adulthood. Sorry, middle Mid- adulthood. you better use the right English here. This 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 person here that I'm reading here. So middle adulthood. So what's the one before middle adulthood? Early adulthood. Young, young adulthood. Yeah. So me, I mean, so me, I'm in a young adulthood, yeah? No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go on like you didn't hear what I just said. I'm not, I'm not here sleeping, chiller. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, so basically, if you are in, so, okay, so let's say Michelle's in the middle adulthood and I'm in the young adulthood. And you you're cannot, No, listen, Michelle, this is just an example. Don't be offended. <laughs> yeah. I thought you became a Christian last week here. Yeah. You shouldn't take offence. <laughs> oh, God. Go on. So, Michelle, you're in um, middle adulthood and I'm in the young adulthood. Yeah. So, basically, you shouldn't be... You should have done what I'm doing now. Yeah. But you will fall a victim of reliving a life stage that you missed out on if you didn't do what what is supposed quote unquote um what you're supposed to do at this life stage where i'm at does that make sense so if you were supposed to so we find it strange when we see grown men or grown women still getting totally wasted on the week weeknights because we're kind of like are you not tired yeah do you have a job tomorrow do you know what i mean there's a structuring of life. There are certain things that my cousin, who's 21 now, yeah, does, that I'm just like, wow. And then I would find it strange to now find a person who's of my age, yeah, to be doing what my 21-year-old cousin does. But then I would have to understand or try to understand what part of their life stage or the life stage of development did they miss out on that they're trying to relive right now yep yeah. so now when we go to purpose yeah and is your purpose what's the statement 
the statement is your purpose must come before your relationship exactly so your purpose must come before your relationship so if you've been going through the life stages as according to yeah you'll get to a place where you've kind of like figured out your purpose yeah you've kind of like worked towards it or even if you haven't figured it out completely you've done a variety of things that are aligning you up to walk into your purpose does that make sense yes and no i'm asking for you you, you tell me <laughs> so you know I've, I've, I've been saying this recently i always say that obviously eric erickson is a theory he's not you know it's not written that it's not law this is his law. yeah this is yeah. his views on how he thinks um psychosocial development is another one that we look really pardon there's somebody that we need to look at who yeah. does the 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 the, 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 the um, psychosocial development as well forgot who it is but we need to look him up go on go who yeah. have right Freud, I think, does. Yeah, maybe Freud yeah, does. Freud. Yeah, I think I prefer his to Eric's. But I don't know. Let's go with Eric at the moment. Yeah. Go on. So, um, but I think in general, I think I'm at a point in my life, and I know I'm always talking about me. I can only talk about what I know, and I know myself better than anything else. <laughs> but I think I know for a fact that, you know, when I met my partner, when I got married, I would say that I'm only starting to find my purpose now and my voice mm. and my confidence now, which has all actually come after I've been, um, after I've got married and as I'm raising my young children. And I just think, mm. I, I, started, I said this a couple of weeks ago about how there's, I believe that actually there's so many rules, there's so many, you have to do this by this time, you have to, who said? Mm. Why? Mm. I keep on saying like no rules, no. What do I say? No rules, no, no stress, no drama. Like we put all these. Say no with no fee, bro. Yeah, no with no fee. Yeah, that is something I also say. But no <laughs> rules, no boundaries. Like, why do we put all these? You must do this by a certain time. This is what is putting the pressure on people, and then people are making dead ass mistakes or missing out on certain things because they're like, well, actually, no, I haven't done this first. I've got to do this first. I have to do yeah. that. Yeah, um, I think, um, I, I, I don't see it like that. I don't see it as like a, a, a time a time thing because time. you know what, there are so many, yeah, I don't see it as like a time frame that you've put yourself in because there are so many things that if we were all working on the time frame that we've put ourselves in, we would achieve, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like many of us would have been millionaires yeah. yeah many people would have been married and da, 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 do you know what i mean yeah? yeah but all these things happen at different times but i think a person has to have maturity does that make sense yes. i think for me purpose is linked to maturity yeah yeah and growing obviously there are the when you when i when i hear purpose yeah i just think of so many things yeah i think about vision i think about wants for self I impact. think about uh, impact like the impact you want to make on your on your, yeah, back, the, your life your your some people don't want to make impact mm. you see what I'm trying to say yeah some people don't want to make impact some people just want to really wake up go to the pie and my shop come home <laughs> yeah, and watch tipping point for our state listeners or overseas I listeners. You're, you're taking all, I love Tipping Point. You know I was going to go on Tipping Point. Yeah, <laughs> these are all the things that Michelle <laughs> likes to do. Yeah, so... <laughs> I, I like a job person, you know. To be honest with you, I enjoy a bit of Tipping Point. I enjoy a bit of Tipping Point. Yeah, like... <laughs> no tipping over here, but I enjoy <laughs> Tipping Point, yeah. Don't do tips, but, you know, you know how it goes. Let me, let me keep myself clean today. So, yeah... <laughs> This, this is a statement that is saying, for me, it read, you must have your own understanding of self. Yeah. What is your individual purpose? Because when I come together with somebody, I will still, because remember, when you're with somebody, you become one. You or you should become one. Yeah. yeah. 
but you have a that like you and Dan have a purpose for your family. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's been established while you've been together. Well, we have yeah, shared yeah. values, shared expectations and, and shared exactly. the purposes, yeah, yeah. together. But individ- as individuals, yeah, you also have a purpose as individuals. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got to be able to be I like how Dan supports the things you go for. When you wanted to get a promotion or go up, etc., etc., he understood that's what you wanted. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And he allowed you to pursue that purpose for yourself. Not that, that he could stop me, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you see what I'm saying? So exactly. But some people some people can get into relationships, and here's where that statement comes in, yeah. Some people can get into relationships that hinder their purposes for self. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slow them so, down. Yeah, slow them down. Take 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 them off route. Keep on you know them. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then so so then they lose their purpose in trying to be in this relationship. But if you're so clear on who you are, not saying you cannot be influenced or you cannot be shown a different way. I always say this to a couple of friends, yeah. I'm not saying my way is the right way. Yeah. 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 But it's just a different way. Yeah. That yeah. Could to be the way yeah, yeah and vice versa do you know what i mean yeah mm-hmm. your way you're not telling me that your way is the right way but it could be a different way that could be the right way for me yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's one of the things of understanding that but if you don't have a purpose or a dream or a vision or a plan for yourself anybody can manipulate who you become mm. that's what i think anyway yeah no, yeah. no, no, no you're right that's yeah. what i if you don't know who you are, somebody's going to tell you who you are. Yeah, and and that I do strongly believe that. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to walk into something, even if you're walking into a relationship, knowing who you are. Don't get me wrong. Don't be hard-headed. Yeah, that you cannot be taught. But you have to have an element of knowing self, of knowing purpose, yeah. of knowing your capacity. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to tell you who you are yeah. and you might like what they're telling you that you are and what's that going to do to you i hate to say it yeah it's going to cause you to become insecure it's going to cause you to become confused mm. it's going to cause you to become somebody else yeah somebody that you don't know somebody that somebody knows- somebody- don't yeah. get me wrong you might like some you might like somebody telling you who you are yeah you might like you might come from a background that does that yeah but for people can enlighten you yeah about yeah. certain parts of you yeah but if you have your purpose and you know it yeah you can either say mm, i resonate with that or mm, actually no, yeah. no no actually that isn't me does that make sense yeah and then you can see the elements of you that are really you yeah and like you said you know obviously sometimes people can see the like good things and and be you know pour into you and and nurture mm. things but obviously the negative side is that people can start telling you things that actually you're not that actually you're no good at this and yeah you know if you don't have that voice or that that insight into yourself then actually those are the things that might stick and then you could start to play into those negative um views, you know which which is definitely a slippery slope to exactly. uh, to, to go down and all because you didn't know your purpose or you didn't mm-hmm. stick with your purpose so when you're asking me the question or this we you're making the statement and you're asking me the question does your purpose come before your relationship um if you're in a relationship you've got to figure that out yeah and you've got to have a purpose for the two of you of that relationship mm. if you're single and looking to get into a relationship you need to establish what your purpose is for yourself but have room if your dream is to be in a relationship you need to have room to be able to accommodate somebody else and their purpose but then yeah? is purpose and self the same thing so is knowing yourself the mm-hmm. same thing is knowing your purpose because I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Not the English that I studied. So I think I went to the same university. But 
no no you're right because i can tell you that i know myself and i've yeah. always known myself i think i've always known you know i'm quite loud quite bubbly funny right, at so the time. Say, say the first one again for the neighbors <laughs> <to> hear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm beautiful, etc., etc. Et <laughs> the, the people that were the people that were cooking, the, the person that threw the chicken in, <laughs> <laughs> and the oil whips, and they didn't hear that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was loud. <laughs> no, no, I, I know. That's the place I know myself. But yeah. obviously, knowing my purpose has been, you know, a bit of a journey. You know, mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. you know, I think. I think people are probably very lucky if they if if they get to know their purpose very early at an early age. Yeah. 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 It's true. You know, something um, a real positive. Yeah, it's true. I agree with that. You know, for those those of you out there who have known what your purpose, even people I've met people that know what that you can talk to them and they know they know what they're doing. Yeah. It doesn't mean they don't have days that they think a bit Man. wobbly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit like, hmm, okay. Like, you know, is this what is really for me? Yeah. But because you know what you want to do, you know what you, what it is you're becoming. You just keep going, and somebody can sit you down, and they can say to you, "Where do you see yourself in two years or three years?" You know what you're saying to them. But just because you have a purpose, or you have an understanding of your purpose, it doesn't mean your purpose is going to come at the time you mm. stand for in any time frame yeah you will understand what I mean yeah mm-hmm. but it's a long term goal that you keep working on working towards yeah yeah and then it's also sh- and you know what yeah, in order to get to your purpose you set short term goals mm. yeah and purpose is not a destination it's a journey exactly yeah ah. so now when you're looking at relationships and measuring them against purposes, you might need your partner or you might need that relationship to make it to your purpose. Mm. Do you see what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I know I started, I started off joking and saying some people's purpose, they feel their purpose is to be married. Yeah. And they can't, well, somebody married at Apple Tower, no? Yeah, some, oh. woman, some, some woman on some TV show, I saw some. I'm marrying people. myself. Oh. Yeah. yeah, some people say I'm married myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play with I don't play with marriage. Like that kind of stuff just stresses me out because I just think that's that wasn't the intention of, of marriage to be I feel like you're just taking the piss when you're doing things like that. Like what, what marrying that, yourself? Yeah, what does that mean? Like what are you doing? Like what does that mean? Because in the words of Beyonce, I've got me and myself and I, that's all I've got in the air. Allow me, please. <laughs> please, allow me. You can't actually say that because Beyonce is married with three kids. <laughs> so, but I don't know what people think. I don't know. People want to marry themselves, isn't it? This is the 21st century. Anything goes, yeah? Isn't it? This I'm is, this is you, what, what do you say to me sometimes? Then you say to me, this is Generation X. What did you call it last week? No, they, week? not me. They, that's what they've named Generation Z. This is d- named oh, by the way, yeah. A listener hollered me. Hollered uh, means yeah. contacted me, yeah, to our suburban listeners. Hollered <laughs> me and educated me on the next, the next generation. What did they say? It's called Generation Alpha. I ain't heard that. That's the thing because you don't know, Michelle. I am up yeah. in social. It is Generation Z and I can Wait, go to my the generation. Because I said to you, do you remember the debate before was what is genera- what comes out of Generation Z? And I said to you, it's rupture. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Gone. So this so is the next after one, Generation Z. Yeah, after Generation oh, Z. Wow. The Generation Alpha. Oh. Hey. oh. I'm telling That's you. That's scary, man. It's beginning, so it's beginning again. It starts. Again. Know, what are we? What are we? I don't even know what we are, man. What are survivors? Eighties babies. Eighties babies. Oh, Michelle, I'm not searching about the generations that we're in. All I know is this is the last days. He says it's coming soon. <laughs> this is the last days, yeah. Just be ready. No, but going back onto what we're talking about, yeah. So if you. And I'm going to link it back here 
to the life stages we're talking about with Eric Erickson, yeah? Mm. So if you haven't possibly worked through the stages of development as you're supposed to, you'll find yourself going in and out. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah? You'll find yourself... So if you maybe missed out on a crucial part of being an 18 to to 25 year old yeah when all your friends are now saying um i don't want to go out anymore and stay out the, oh, the whole night yeah come on put your hand up michelle yeah at this age do you want to do an all nighter hmm? me exactly. yeah i want to be well, well, back well, in my bed by nine well, well, nine exactly, yeah. on one p.m so now <laughs> when when okay even take about when, when we we're 25 yeah when we we're 25 we even stopped doing all nighters by then, yeah. The yeah. only time you'll catch us doing an all nighter is if it was somebody's birthday, yeah, and we were out till like three in the morning. And that's well ahead advanced and planned for. Yeah. Then it changed, yeah. Then it became a thing of we we'll only do late nights or more on holidays. We we'll only go out out on holidays. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. 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 So now imagine catching somebody who is 25 doing an all nighter or maybe even 27 doing all nighters every weekend it's like don't you have a day job are you not tired all these questions yeah and it's just like what so that's when you that person and they get excited they now have to have friends or find friends that are still in the same mindset that are still living in the same life because there's nobody that's their age group. Guys, I'm gonna become a bit African right here, right now, yeah? Uh-oh. That's where African quotation comes from, from your parents of, look at your age mates. <laughs> look yeah. at what your age mates are doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because your parents understand that what you're doing is not even as a person of your age. There are things you can control, but there are things you can't control, mm. yeah? You can't control when somebody chooses to marry you. You can't control when you decide when you choose to have a child. Because people have been trying for a long time, but it's not happening. Yeah. So that's something that's out of people's control. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But there are things people can have a level of control over. Yeah. Let's be honest. And this is not me being very one sided. And, you know, you can choose to say, I chose not to go to university at that age. Yeah. Yeah. But or you I can't go, do... go back to university. Damn. Yeah. yeah. You can go back to university until you're like mid 20s. Exactly. I chose to go back. Those are things that he, they're in his control. But, you know, thank God you guys have your kids, yeah? You could have been saying, oh, I've been trying for kids for et cetera, et cetera. Mm. But you don't, you don't really choose. You keep trying until you get lucky. We both know people that have been trying for years yeah. and nothing happened. And then, boom all of a sudden this happens this miracle happens Mm. yeah so with different life stages you're choosing to go back yeah because there's something you feel like you missed out on people say to you oh i never did that i want to try it yeah and you're offering it to yourself listen yeah i've done that already i haven't got energy for it there's no way there's no that yeah do you think if, if they opened up Carbon Bar, I don't even know Carbon Bar is still open, yeah? I remember. Well, that would be one of your birthdays, yeah? yeah. That, the only reason we will go back now is to say, rah, we were young ones, yeah? But do you think I'm going to call you, Michelle, and be like, ah, oh, Michelle, this weekend is hot at Carbon. For who? I would say, if it's not somebody's birthday that I'm linked to, I'm not going. And even then, please, can you just, can I just be home by like, like I said, 901? Yeah. <laughs> if it's my birthday, you're coming because everybody has got a hot foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, 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 ten, that tends to be what happens. Mm. Yeah? When you've got a 50 year old that is now still doing things of a 20 year old, something's gone missing. Something's gone wrong. Something so I'm, I'm going to take you back to Ericsson's theory of psychosocial development. Yeah. So when they talk about these specific um, periods of life, mm-hmm. the life cycle, he yeah. actually talks about how there's certain crises that happen at these stages mm-hmm. and that 
there's a resolution that should come out of the crisis and it should be positive. And by the end of it, you're meant to live like a happy, well, happy, um, resilient life, yeah? So mm-hmm. during the young adulthood, funny enough, the crisis is intimacy versus isolation. Mm-hmm. And where you're said to basically, one of the positive outcomes is that you form close personal relationships. Yeah? Stop there. Yes. Because some people are still, some people miss that life stage, that part, yeah? Mm-hmm. Some people miss that development and then they get into where we are now and they don't have close friends. So yeah. they still crave that. So you'll find themselves, what I just said before, you'll find themselves drawing themselves to younger people because most of us at this age will form their relationships. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So a person who's at our age, middle adulthood, did you say? Yeah. You know, yeah early yeah. adulthood? Middle, middle, like, we're middle. middle. Yeah, middle adulthood. And with, we're, you know, like, you know, not boasting or anything, we'll form their relationships. We have our closest friends. You know, you people walk around singing Drake every day. No new friends, no new friends. <laughs> when I have a new friend, I'm not going to say somebody's name, but who's that new friend now? Yeah. She was another one. Yeah. Like, yeah. So you guys are the poster girls. Yeah. For no new friends. Uh, on my birthday dinners, you lot are like, hmm, who's that now? Who's that? I haven't there's met There's always her. someone, there's always an extra table at the seat, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's not like, <laughs> what have you got a new friend here? Yeah. Who's making new friends at 30, whatever? Who's making new friends at 21? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, guys, yeah? Public age is 21, yeah? But <laughs> so, when you're talking about that life stage specifically, that's what I meant. Yeah? Mm. Because you're meant to find intimacy and isolation, yeah? That you're forming real-time relationships. Well, it's, it's into me verse, yeah, verse. So it depends on what wins. Um, so, yeah. Isolation. So you can choose to isolate or you can choose to build meaning, meaningful friendship. Yeah. Because what's happening next, yeah, and I hate to say it, guys, I hate to say it, when you're, that's a young adult, right? That's a young adult there? Yes, that's young yeah. adult. That's young adult. So what's happening when you get into the middle part of adulthood, middle adulthood, yeah, your parents are dying flip sake <laughs> oh my god i'm being so real this morning everyone's just packed their coffees out yeah i know right i'm like <laughs> chill out no, no, when obviously this, this is the age where we're seeing more deaths around us no mm-hmm. yeah so so you being isolated or not being or not being able to establish intimacy relationships yeah at the young adulthood you've got to think about who's going to carry you through the bereavement stages Mm. But people don't see the link of it until you start to look at it. Man, we're even coming off the topic. Um, I should be, I should be a teacher now. Come on. I think you should Come just play. stop derailing what we're oh. talking about and just stay on topic. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just call me literary skills. Yeah, the teacher in your class. But obviously, obviously, I've kind of like gone too deep. Yeah, in the education of what happens after each stage and the impact of the next stage yeah and that's not what we're talking about today today we're talking more about what the purpose is yeah now if i'm in a relationship michelle Mm -hmm. i'll be happy to be saying to you that yes my purpose needs to come before my relationship Mm. Because I feel like if I don't know what I am doing for myself, how can I know what I'm doing for my relationship? I get that, but I can just talk on personal experience and say that, okay, I didn't know what I was doing for myself, but I knew myself. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Because if you didn't have a purpose, yeah, how did you become who you are with your career? So I knew of it, but I was already... I just think, yeah... Being with somebody and growing and time and time being on your side, yeah, it allows you to see more. Yeah. It allows you to learn yourself a little bit a little bit more because nobody remains the same. 
yeah, you might have a core foundation of what you want to become, which was what you knew, right? Yeah. But you wouldn't, I can't say here and say that my friend was not, with per, was without purpose. Without purpose. Yeah? Do you see what I'm trying to say? When something is without purpose, yeah, it's, it has a, it's void. It's empty. Mm. You're void. I don't Even, know. I hate to use, I hate to use scriptures too. Oh, I God. hate to use scriptures, yeah. You know when the Bible says, yeah, in the beginning, yeah, the land was void. It was, there was nothing. But I don't know. Racials. I don't know. That's why I agree. Nobody's asking you to agree here. Yeah. You guys are going to kick me out of the house, though, guys. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to agree. And many of the listeners are not going to agree with me, yeah? But my thing is, yeah, nobody... My thing is, I don't think... you, You might get to a place and say, okay, you might study to be a certain thing, yeah? And you get to the end of it and you think, you know what? This is not what I was called to do, actually. I thought it was, but it's not. There's more in me than this. Mm-hmm. But you still had a purpose, yeah? I think, here yeah, you get to a place where you feel like you grow, you develop, you self-evaluate. If you're but, not a reflective person, yeah. yeah, you might never reach your purpose. And that's what I was going to say. So what about people that don't know their purpose? Because I know, I know one person really well in a lot of areas of her life I yeah. will sit here and say actually I do don't... I know that person yeah yeah but she'll say I don't know what next I don't know what what I want to do do, do, you... I know this person? do I know this person well well yeah, yeah. I won't say too much but yeah she'll... And, and we've had this conversation recently she's like oh everyone's doing x y and z but I'm not doing nothing and I'm just like well I don't really know what to say because I'm just like it's not by force like don't feel that you have to be doing something. Do you know what? Yeah, don't put the pressure on yourself. I'm, and, if, if, I don't think I, I don't know who this person is. Yeah, but if you're listening, yeah, don't put don't put the pressure on yourself. Yeah, and you know what? Step away from watching everybody else and what everyone else is doing. And that's social media. Yeah, that's social. Like, media. Some yeah. people we've said this before so many times on the podcast. Yeah, a lot of people have got it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm together but trust me sis yeah or bro yeah they they're just they're just trying a thing Mm -hmm. as they say yeah everybody's just trying it out yeah it's a trial and error yeah yeah it's a trial and error situation yeah obviously don't go around life walking around recklessly because you know we're not 35 (laughs) yeah yeah forget that yeah don't listen to drake yeah, there was a, that's a Drake song, isn't it? Yeah. Because okay. remember, guys, yeah, for Drake to get Artist of the Decade, yeah, he wasn't doing YOLO. I know, right? Exactly. He knew what his, <laughs> he knew what, he knew what his purpose was, yeah? So if you're here doing Drake YOLO, yeah, oh, tough oh. on you. You need to get one of our African parents saying to you, look at your age, mate. Look at your age, mate. Oh, so you've got to really think about what is for you. Look at, look at what you're passionate about yeah mm. think about what moves you yeah and you know what yeah it's really important when we talk about relationships yeah be in relationships that can cultivate yeah yeah your purpose because you might get with somebody who sees the best in you yeah and can see everything you're becoming or can become that you don't even see in yourself yeah oh you, you don't even know it's there that you don't even know it's there yeah and that person can show you or mm. can be an aid to what your purpose is. We meet managers that, you know, yeah. put yeah. us in areas that we didn't think would be in. It's funny how this is linked to like the the one we did the other week about the um or the one that we're going to do, the um imposter syndrome. Exactly. That's coming guys, yeah. Hold yeah. hold that for it. Again, my views are just all the way to the left, yeah. Is oh. it to the left or oh. to the right? I'm a, I'm, I'm a right, I'm a right, how I am, ain't I? I'm right to the, I'm Lefty. right, boy. Right Left is neighbour, isn't it? Lefty. I'm conserv, I'm, I am a conservative when it comes to my mindset. Yeah. Are you joking? I, huh? Are you conservative? You don't conservative? No, but it, what, my mindset, I think when my thinking is quite uh. right, 
yeah, my thinking is quite narrow and quite one oh, way. God. And I'm able to say it, yeah. I can take on people, I can listen to people, but if I believe something, I'm just like, okay, thanks, so I've heard you, but I'm stubborn. Yeah, I'm just asking. That sounds like a stubborn person. I'm not stubborn. I just know myself. Why well, should I, I be, I know be left to be left behind? Oh my God, chill up, please. <laughs> So to be right like, is to go right ahead. She just to, <laughs> like just hit her, like guys. It's okay. <laughs> to be left is to go to be left behind. To go right is to go oh, right ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, she holds. Whatever, Trevor. You like it. You like I it. Love I love it. it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you like it. I love it. But it is. The, yeah, yeah. I am quite narrow-minded in some thought, some forms. Yeah. But mm. I'm open-minded to hear what people have to say. But if I don't feel like um, it's conducive to my development, I'm shutting it down. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shutting it down. For me, I'll say to you, you keep it because you're happy living like that. But you keep your life that has no purpose and go into this relationship or go into this relationship with a form of purpose for yourself. Nobody moves without a purpose. I can say I did, Shelves. I know I moved. I know I moved. I I knew, yes, what my nine to five, you know, like social care, social work. I knew that. But the reality was I knew that I, I didn't want to like, I wasn't going to be a social worker. There's a social worker that I work with. She's 76 and she's just retiring. And well, I hope she's not listening because now we know Thanks, Joe. Happy retirement. <laughs> That's not her name, and I'm not going to tell you her name. And I'm on maternity leave, so I don't even know if she knows. But someone was telling me the other day, but I was thinking 76 and like working nine to five, like hats but, off to her. But hats Shell, off. maybe that was her purpose, though. <sighs> That's maybe that was her purpose. Maybe some people's purpose is just to go there and have kids. <laughs> <laughs> You just don't know. Because remember, in this world, yeah, there are scientists, there are doctors, mm. there are musicians. We're all made up of, it's made up of different things. Mm. It's just that you have to know what your calling is. And I've said it before in this podcast, you might get to a stage where you think, oh, you might have a, a, life, a life-changing encounter. One of my friends, sure. um, the one that, my friend, I won't say her name, but she helped deliver Olivia. She was actually mm. a lawyer. She did law school. And uh-huh. then, like, third year in, and she was like, actually, I don't want to do this. And then, like, she went to study to be a midwife. And now she's, like, really hot, or uh, really high in the, the like, health. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. She might have watched Ali McBeal and thought, nah, this ain't oh. for me. <laughs> I remember Ali McBeal. <laughs> Why do you have like the randomest stuff in your head? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> because Ew. me, when I was when I was thirteen, I was looking for my purpose. <laughs> no, right, searching high low, all all all. all, all <laughs> I wasn't all. there, just eating McDonald's. <laughs> god. Yeah, I was watching TV programs that made sense. I was watching ER thinking that I want to be a doctor. Yeah. Oh, God. I was watching I was watching Ali McBeal thinking, oh, do I want to be in the courtroom? This yeah, is what happens when you have Sky too early. This is what happens when you have cable too early, Netflix too early. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the God Channel saying, what do I want to be a preacher? <laughs> oh, God. I was exploring everything, basically. No, I had just I just keep a lot of information in my head, really. I'm a geek. Mm. Yeah. But your friend did right though. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. even now, how many people do we see that wake up and think, you know what, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore, yeah? And your purpose, yeah, is linked to what you meditate on. Yeah, what you... I think we talk about it so much, but it's the truth about the power of what yeah. you surround yourself in. If you wake mind. up in the morning, yeah, yeah. huh? I've got, I've got a quotation for you. So maybe it's not a quotation, but it's something, yeah? I think it was in Sister, Sister Act, yeah? When sister, sister or Sister Act, sorry. Sister Act, yeah? yeah. 
when Lauren Hill said, oh, she wasn't Lauren Hill in the film, guys, yeah. But I think it was something along the lines like, um, when she wakes up, it's music. Yeah, that's all she thought about. And her mum wanted her to be in the box because music does not pay the bills. Singing does not do the do. If you watch the film, you know what I'm talking about. You can quote me with it, yeah? You know what I'm talking about. People that had TV when they were younger. But if you haven't watched this direct, Go and watch it. Michelle, just watch it tonight. I've seen it, you know that. I've actually seen Sister Act. Do I remember it? No, but I've definitely seen it. Yeah. So, but basically, when she's saying that all she wants to do is sing, mm. yeah, you wake up in the morning, that's what you think about. If you want to be if you want to be a bank, a bank robber, a bank manager, let's go with bank manager. Manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I love pulling you lots of legs in the morning. Yeah. By the way, Money Hash is coming out in September. Ready for that bank robbery? <laughs> you, you've been advertised that. Excuse you. Yeah, I know, right? But they'll pay me soon. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Speaking into existence. But if you wake up and you think about this thing all the time, guys, and I'm talking about positive thoughts, please, yeah? Mm-hmm. Let's not somebody say to me, I heard Sheila say on Coffee Morning Laughter, if I think about <laughs> doing this thing that is really negative that's what my purpose is i'm not saying that if yeah, you're waking up in the morning and you think about killing people that's not your purpose i'm telling you now yeah you need yeah. to go and seek yeah. help yeah but if you're waking up in the morning and thinking nah charity work is what i'm after yeah, yeah. i'm really passionate about this topic I want to be an awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to be a, a, a this and that, yeah. Like my little cousin, yeah. First love is music, yeah. But since she finished university, her purpose for life has changed. 360. She's not, she finished university in um, last year, whatever last year was, yeah. She's now going back to university this year to do a master's in something completely different. Oh, wow. Because she's had, she's had, a, she's had a work experience, yeah. And in her family business and she's like i'm sold out for this thing i'm still keeping my music and i still love that that's still my first love i'm still working on it but i'm going back to university to study this do you see what i'm trying to say yeah Yeah. so it will change as it as as you grow and as you educate yourself but if this is what you're thinking and you can't do anything else apart from what you're thinking yeah in that moment that's your purpose but if i link it to relationships yeah be in relationships that support your purposes. That cultivate, yeah. That walk, yeah. nourish. Yeah. That will, yeah. Be in relationships that are going to say, okay, that's what you're interested in. Let's explore it. Mm. Not relationships that say, look, yeah, last week wanted to be a drummer. But anyway, if you're a reckless person, everyone can change your career, yeah. <laughs> Don't ever come to me as well, because I'm going to be saying, look, yeah, you need a payment job. Yeah, because you're getting old, yeah. <laughs> if you're young, I don't mind it. Yeah, like Kayla changes careers every week. But she's 13, yeah. it's okay. What did so you want to be older when you were younger? Me, I wanted to be what I am exactly today. Really? Happy. Oh, God. <laughs> That's such an African response, man. Oh, How could that be an African response when I had it in a Western, when I had it in a Western world? Yeah. Oh, I want to be happy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't now. You're an idiot, yeah. You're... <laughs> no, like this... no, no, I actually what I wanted to what I wanted to become when I was younger, I'm becoming it. Okay. I've already become parts of it. Because mm. to be honest with you, I always wanted to be a social worker. Hence when I went to college, I studied something that was going to get me into social work. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when I left college, it was a no-brainer. I was, uh, I was going to do my social work degree, mm-hmm. which I went ahead and did. I had a year out and I applied and I did my thingy, my um, degree. Yeah. And then when my year out, I worked in health and social care settings. Okay. Well, I wanted to be, I wanted to be a, a seamstress, considering I cannot draw. Yeah. Not, I wanted to like, I like sewing, like a, a, a sewing machine. So I wanted to like make dresses, but I'm not artistic. I'm not creative. Yeah. I, was, I, think, I think listeners can hear that I'm, I'm sorry. My breath, I'm losing my breath. 
<laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like literally, where I ended up, other uh, than what I wanted to do, <laughs> was like a complete and utter, yeah, disconnect. And then I wanted to be a psychologist. And then when I read the reading that you had to do for psychologists, I was like, Kai. Uh, so all my psychologist friends out there, I rate you. Pelling, I um, rate. We're, vo- we're, we're, vo- we're, we're, we're praying for the career doors to open, man. Because it's me, a commitment. But- yeah, I'm telling you, it's hard and it's just a lot. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, so... And then I did a bit of youth work and then I realised there's only certain much you can do with youth work. And then I was like, yeah, do social work. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So you came... I sort of fell into it, yeah, but... I came, I saw, yeah. I conquered. Now, now that you conquered it, now that's why you're saying to yourself, my purpose has to change. Because, of, of, because babe, it's not just one thing to a person yeah mm. some people's purposes might take longer to get to oh massively yeah. yeah yeah but because you've conquered that first element of like okay cool yeah i've done that i've become a manager i've done this i've done that great what next what's the next challenge you you're a person who wants to challenge themselves i hate that feeling but i i've, I've come to acknowledge that i keep on saying i've about every two or three years I end up doing a course at university level and then when I'm like doing the assignments I'm like why the hell did I sign up for this why the hell am I doing this like literally I've got to stop but then I've realized every two or three years but I even I signed up for a course on maternity leave but brother quickly about two weeks later I asked for a refund so I was like listen Michelle you need to relax (laughs) but maybe because maybe if you find something that you zone into yeah and it, it, it can it can keep your attention for a longer period yeah like this did but then you're going through it shell does that make sense and that's but what you're I'm, in a relationship and how are you managing that and that's what i'm saying but if we look at the initial comment then mm. like i didn't have my purpose before i got into my relationship i feel like i'm just going through that now I don't agree with that, Michelle. I don't have to. Oh, because I wasn't walking aimlessly. You think that? The thing is, yeah, at that point in time, yeah, should we change the should we change the statement from being a purpose, yeah, having a goal, having a vision? Mm. Because I think, yeah, when we say purpose, you see purpose as a single word, not seeing it as a multiple word that is opened up to vision. That open up. that can evolve as well yeah you see it as this is it for yeah. you purpose is destination yeah like a journey and like literally when you arrive it stops and you, then you get you home. think this is my purpose yeah, yeah. but what if your purpose because let's look at Maya Angelou and what she did have you read her books I used her for my um for my personal statement to get into uni yeah I used yeah. a couple of verses. So you read the books. The question was not, did you write how a question is Yes, I the did. Question, I, yeah. I read the okay. book. For the listeners, for the listeners, for the listeners <laughs> and for my own benefit, yeah, what book, because you just said you read the book. Sure. Yeah. Yes, yes, did. You know, my memory is horrendous, but I'm telling you, I used my, Maya Angelou. I what, read, how many books of Maya Angelou did you read? Like maybe one or two. This we're talking about in okay, the one early or two. About... Okay, I'm happy that you have some reading in your life. Cool. <laughs> yeah, she abuses me. See how she abuses me. Yeah. Please, you've I'm heard pr- it, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you, but you I'm not gonna proud of you because that's that one or two of books. So I'm guessing you read I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. I promise you, I can't tell you that. I, everybody has read that. I don't want to. Yeah. I am sure you read. I can't even think of that one that you might have read yet. But I, Sheila, having read a number of Maya's books, hey. yeah, most probably nearly all of them. Mm. When you look at Maya Angela's life, yeah, and the books she writes, from I Know Why a Cage Bird Sings to um, All God's Children Need Traveling Shoes, etc., etc., mm. yeah, you look at the life that she led. There's a book, I can't remember the title, where she's in Ghana, yeah? There's a book where she comes to London and she's in the um, National, um, she's at the National Theatre, yeah? There's one where she travels to the Deep South, yeah? When she gets married, where she has Guy as a child, do you know what I mean, yeah? Her son Guy, 
and you can see that her purpose changes from bits to bits when she goes back home to look at to look after her mum yeah and she's forever evolving yeah her purpose is not one thing yeah that's why she's able to write about all her experiences yeah her purpose is linked to her relationships at the time in those books some of them are because there was a point of time she was actually married Mm -hmm. and she was married and she was a wife and she was abused she suffered domestic violence do you know what i mean yeah but she's going through this and each life stage that she writes about she discovers she's discovering rediscovering who she is yeah there's a corner in you but your purpose is just it, you're meeting your purpose you're walking towards your purpose yeah and it's good to be able to evolve and change yeah. grow exactly yeah and maybe at each life stage you might have a goal mm. that w- is helping you reach that purpose yeah so when you say to me um I don't think I don't think a person should should have I think a person should have a clear understanding of who they are yeah and where they see themselves is this greater than a relationship no I think both can coexist together together yeah but um, what I would say to people is know yourself yeah and I agree yeah. with that. yeah know yourself and know who you're becoming so that nobody so, can come speak their speak it, it, your exactly. speak their falsities and make it their truth when it's not exactly and the person that is going to join you on this journey of life here who you're going to partner with yeah make sure you can show them who you're becoming who you are mm. yeah and encourage them to show you who they are yeah yeah because then because both of you if, if it's going to work yeah you know again the good book says yeah just you can walk hand in hand if you don't agree yeah 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 so what's the purpose for your relationship or your family and what's the purpose for yourself as individuals because remember even when you're in a relationship you still you still are you yeah this relationship does not define you you're not just you know i'm not going to say the surname here yeah you're not just mrs m yeah 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 you're still michelle yeah michelle and he's still dead mm. but there's a unity here yeah and there's a plus for this unity but it doesn't take away from the individual that you are so what's the purpose for the individual and as the person you've chosen to be a partner in life can they support that purpose for the individual yeah that's it. okay i'm very mindful that we don't want to take up all of your saturday morning everyone yeah so, Today's been a little bit serious, right? I know, but it didn't even start off that way, but it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's, it's Yeah, I know, it didn't even start off that way. Guys, honestly, I, I when Michelle came over, I was just in a silly mood, yeah? And then, obviously, I'm going out later on, so obviously, I'm in a little mood here. But, I, yeah, we didn't mean to be so serious. If you, th- if you thought we're too serious, you know, come back next week. And, yes. Yeah, we'll lighten up the moods next week. But... Yeah. I guess sometimes we've got to give it to our serious listeners. Guys, if you're interested in knowing more about the different life stages of development, um, you know, definitely check in with us through social media. And um, like I keep saying yeah, every other week, the blog. Yeah, the blog's going to come out. And um, these points are going to be in the blog as well. Um, mm. So you can read about them. And you can maybe test that and see what life stage you're at. Or if you've got kids, see what life stage they're at. Um, maybe do a little test on yourself. We might even run up a little test on social media between me and Michelle. Um, I don't <laughs> even know what life stage Michelle was in. Yeah, 60 plus. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> she is way older than me. Everybody. Yeah. I don't want a boring wine. I, I don't want a boring wine. <laughs> and you're there just talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Really? Look, I'm, I'm going to call you auntie now. I'm going to call you auntie from now. You can yeah. call me auntie, whatever you want to call me, yeah. But when you see me out on these streets, I'm not auntie. Oh my God. Auntie Jones. <laughs> I'm not auntie, yeah. Look, yeah. Forever young, they'll call me. 
but I'm living in the I'm living in the right life stage. Okay. Yeah. I'm forever young, but living in the right life stage. Keep I'm doing everything in the right in the life stage that I can do possibly with my own power. Okay. If you say you so, agree or disagree? if you say so, I'm saying I can't. If I do say so myself, bye, Michelle, man, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> You people go and have a great Saturday, yeah? And if the sun comes out your way, enjoy it because Please. tomorrow might be a different day. As I keep saying to people, if you like the song the DJ's playing, dance to it because the next track will be the worst track of your life. Have a great Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye, guys.